In this video, we will be concentrating on setting up Flip. Part 5 in this series will demonstrate Flip's print capabilities. I will leave a link for Part 5 in the description. Flip is now a much more polished product. One of the primary design goals of this iteration was to contain as many basic utilities within the product footprint. I have also spent a lot of time redesigning the basic motion system in an attempt to improve print quality. As seen here, a spool stand, set of wrenches and a reverse Bowden tube are stored in a hinged tool holder. The panel also protects the Y-axis belt assembly and front pulley idlers. The full Y-axis build volume is still accessible with the panel in the closed position. Later iterations may include a more sophisticated tool-free closing and opening mechanism, but for now the use of four M5 bolts retained within the same fixing holes is simple, low profile and very rigid. The unique selling point of this design is the ability to fold the entire gantry and hot end within the mass of the product. This now works well, but I have lost count regards the number of design hours I have spent making this a reality. I am sure, given time, this can be further improved spatially. The printer is powered by a low voltage power brick, which is stored under the chassis in an integral tray. The power supply does get warm when in use, but seems within reasonable limits. I will analyse this further in a later long form video. The Bowden tube connects to the extruder and an articulated connector on the control panel. The spool connector is a tidy solution, but does need some more work to clear the Y-axis drag chains. This is my first time using Fluid as a client for Clipper, and I must say I'm very impressed with responsive and stylish interface. I will definitely be using Fluid more often moving forward. The Positron display is very crisp and equally responsive, a delight to use. Flip uses senseless homing on the X and Y axis. A microprobe is used as a virtual end stop for the Z axis. Some of the specifics will be discussed further in part 5 and in greater detail in the long form video. Independent Z motors that allow Z tilt is essential to make sure the gantry is always perpendicular after unfolding. I am pleased to say the time spent centralising the Y axis belt assembly and completely revising the hot end design seems to have helped reduce ringing overall. More of this in part 5. A big thanks to LDO Motors and PCB Way for supporting this project. As always, thanks for watching.